Hi, this is Tracy Kite with Georgia Highlands College, and these are Math 1111 College Algebra videos. Today's topic is increasing and decreasing intervals for a function. So let's take a look at the first graph. Use the graph below to describe the intervals on which the function is increasing or decreasing. For most of us, it is fairly easy to see that the graph, when we read it from left to right, is decreasing along here. It stops decreasing at this point. What we have to write is for what x values the function was decreasing or increasing. So I want to look at my x values only. So for those x values from negative infinity up to x is equal to negative 1.5, my function was decreasing. Now at that point, it begins to increase. Now we, again, we only want to know for what x values it increased. Well, from x is equal to negative 1.5 up to the point that x is equal to 0. So it was increasing from the point x equals negative 1.5 to x equals 0. At that point, again, I am decreasing it decreases from 0 to this x value, which is at 1.5. So from 0 to 1.5, I'm decreasing again. And then from there, I turn around and I'm increasing for the remainder of the graph. So we say from 1.5 to infinity. All right, let's take a look at another example. Use the graph below to describe the intervals on which the function is decreasing or increasing. So let's write, when is it increasing? And when is it decreasing? So we're going to start, as always, on the left-hand side of the graph. Well, for here, my graph is increasing up to that point. So we need to know for what x values was our graph increasing. So from x is negative infinity all the way up to where x is equal to 0. So it is increasing from negative infinity to zero. At zero, it starts to decrease to this point. This point happens when x is equal to three. So it is decreasing from zero to three. And then I begin increasing again from three continuously on. So from three to infinity. And we have described each portion of the graph, but we describe it only with our x values. Let's look at one more example. On this one, as everyone before, we start on the left hand side and describe what the graph is doing. The graph is decreasing, and then I interpret my x values. It is decreasing from
from negative infinity to negative 3. Decreasing from negative infinity to negative 3. We then notice that it is increasing. It is increasing from negative 3 up until x is negative 1. So increasing from x equals negative 3 to x equals negative 1. Now from negative 1 up until this point, it is decreasing again. And I want to know where that point occurs on the x-axis. So it is decreasing from negative 1 to positive 2.5. And then it begins increasing again from 2.5 to infinity. Again, I never looked at the y-axis for this. So the key point is, the most important thing to remember, is that we are describing the x intervals in which the graph is either increasing or decreasing. We are not using the y values.